Welcome back guys to Super Auto Pets with me, Massive Dynamic. We're still in the weekly. And I just wanted to show a run that I had where I was just kind of messing around. I was really intent on not doing the meta this week. And so I tried a few different things throughout the week and even during my regular daily playthroughs. I was trying to avoid the meta best I could, although I fell into the meta trap several times through the week. But this, I finally got something that worked out. It was kind of different. I was kind of like halfway in between trying to decide what to do as I always am because I can never fully settle on anything. So I went with, as you can see, I got a bunch of fish in the shop and I thought, okay, we'll start with, we'll start with fish and leveling and then we'll see where it goes. Um, so uh, we, we did okay here. And uh, the idea just kind of grew organically on its own. I don't know if I have to click anything. Okay, I do. I have to, I forget, it's been a while. But uh, yeah, I have to click after each, um, after each round. So uh, yeah, I saw the mus musk ox come up and I thought, well, I haven't really, I think I tried it once this week and I didn't get anywhere with it. So I thought, yeah, I'm gonna try the musk ox. And also the door head ant, which I thought, okay, musk, musk ox and door head ant seem like they go together. And yeah, they kind of did, and it worked out there for that round. And then I was looking for a way to uh, maybe capitalize on that activity. So I, I kept going with the fish, looking for the next fish level up. Um, and they finally got another door head ant. Uh, so I saved that one. Now I'm trying to figure out where this is gonna go. Um, I, I like the door head ant and the muskox combination. I think it's a little bit interesting. So, trying to figure out where it goes from here. So, we draw that one. And now, there's the doorhead ant. There's the other fish. So now, I thought, okay, well, the mosquito is so weak. But, I do have a one, one, a two, and a three pet. So, I thought, okay, well, maybe we can go four squatted. And, uh, and maybe work something out like that. At least, um... At least we're not, you know, with, with the uh, fifth pet we could buy sell. So yeah, there's the uh, the, the mouse buy sell, Get a couple of those. <coughs> Excuse me, and then just looking for more um, buy sell pets to keep it going. And I thought I'd just buff the four, uh, the four main pets, and we'll ignore the fifth pet uh, as just a, an open hole. Although I did keep the mouse there just because. Uh, don't know really why I kept the mouse. It's probably stupid to keep the fifth pet each time, but I did it a, a few times. I think I was afraid. I didn't want to lose uh, just because I was four squatted, so I got kind of nervous about it. <clears throat> and then, um, yeah, I don't know why I took. I don't. I don't know why. Why I took the, uh, the Emperor Cameron at all. That was. I, I got a little bit lost in my head there thinking I was doing just a pure buy sell them and I, I think because I was I was kind of messing with the uh, starfish for a little while also on an earlier run um, so I was thinking I was getting something out of out of every um, every buy sell but uh, yeah oh it wasn't obviously there's the starfish that's what uh, then I thought about how okay how can I bring in the starfish and make that work but then I've got three pretty good sized pets and I, I don't really want to get rid of any of them with the uh, the way the dragonflies work in here even though we lost that one um, so I think about the starfish for a minute and then uh, decide no that's not worthwhile so then we're back to the regular operation and then yeah it occurs to me that I can do a cow for the milk it's not bad and there's another muskox and also the uh, zebra is a very good one because you get the buy and sell out of that one. I think if I would have been paying more attention, I could have done even better on this run because I, I probably wouldn't have bought a couple of those tamarins. I think I bought, I don't know, three tamarins before I realized what I was doing. Um, so, yeah, now we cruise along here. So, yeah, here's probably another tamarin that I... Nope, I skipped on that one. That's good. That was a big mistake right there. Um, when I leveled that, I was screaming at myself because now I don't have the one, two, three tiers and now my dragonfly isn't working right anymore. So I kind of was in a little bit of a panic here <clears throat> at this point because I screwed up my, I screwed up my build. 
Now I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to get out of this. So then I thought, okay, well, I'll bring in a Nyala. Because at least it's a level one. As long as I don't level it to level two, then um, I can at least split my buffs onto the, uh, the muskox and the doorhead ant. And that wouldn't be so bad because I'll be also... Also buffling, buff, buffling, bu buffing the Nyala. Uh, so they were on seven, seven wins. So we're not doing too shabby, really, for where we're at and what we're doing. Uh, so now it's just a matter of figuring out. Now I have to keep the Nyala, but I can't level it to level two. And I don't want to level up to level three either. So I'm being kind of cautious. But I can level my Dragonfly. That would be... The best thing to level if I was thinking straight, I would have realized that sooner. But I think by about this time, I realized okay, yes, like if I level the dragonfly, uh, then I'll get more buffs, so that's a good idea. And then it's just a matter of using the shops, whatever's available in the shop, to the best of my um, ability to get the buffs that I can get. I can't do the buy sales anymore because I've settled on the Nyala and we're on eight wins, so now we're just trying to cruise in. Let's see if we can't get the, the tenth win. There's nine. All right, so now we're on nine with three hearts. So now we're just on basically food. The mushroom was great. That that worked out really well uh, on the Nyala. That mean basically doubles the Nyala's output. Um, fortunately, we went against some teams that were a little bit unusual, also like this one, for instance, with the double dromedary. Um, and, well, of course, spoke a little bit too soon because they beat us with that team. It's a good team. Nothing against it. Um, now, I kind of wish I could have had a chance to buy those. Then the chicken wings started to show, or chicken legs started to show up. And I was happy about that with two hearts left to get two chicken legs. Um, so I took, froze them, hoping to use them. Here's a, here's a, uh, here's a team of two eagles. And I think that they end up beating us to death with all the spawns. Yes, they do. That's a good team right there. So good good out to you, Ludon or Ludox. And then finally we're back to, uh, we're on one, one heart on nine wins. There's another uh, chicken leg in the shop. Can we get this is the question. And another, another eagle with a pug and a jellyfish. Could have been me a few rounds ago. I ran the same team. Uh, but do we get it? Yes, we finally get the win. So there it is. So there we go. Fish, muskox, doorhead ant, Nyala, and the dreaded dragonfly. So that was kind of a fun one. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.